Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the action here at Cold Tai Arena. Once again, proudly being brought to you by Bob Aram's Top Rank Incorporated. This bout in association with Allah Boxing Promotions. Tecate con carácter anta Foreman Boys Promotions and our host, the Venetian Macau. This bout set for a limit of 10 rounds for the WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantamweight Championship. Damas caballeros, este duelo pactado un límite de 10 vueltas por el título peso Super Gallo Asia Pacífico de la OMB. Supervisor, Supervisor, Leon Panoncillo. The judges are, los jueces son, Sawa Eng Tawikun, Salvin Lagumbay, and Takeshi Shimakawa, the referee, Danrex Tapdasan. Introducing the blue corner, he steps in wearing black with pink trim, presentando la esquina azul, vestido de negro con vivos color rosa. Detuvo la báscula a un peso oficial de 122 libras. He tipped the scales at an official 122 pounds. As a professional, he maintains a record consisting of 23 victories against five losses, one draw, and eight of those victories coming by way of knockout. A nivel profesional, mantiene un record de 23 victorias con cinco derrotas, un empate, y ocho de sus victorias por la vía del cloroformo. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Konosuke Tomiyama. In the red corner, in the esquina roja, vestido de color blanco con vivos negros, he steps in wearing white with black trim. His official weight, 121.6 pounds, su peso oficial, 121.6 libras. A nivel profesional, se mantiene invicto con 21 victorias, 8 de sus victorias por la vía del knockout. He steps in undefeated in 21 professional bouts. Eight of those victories coming by way of knockout. El actual campeón peso super gallo Asia Pacífico de la OMB. He is the defending WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantamweight Champion. From Bacolod City, the Philippines, Genesis Cervania. Genesis, come on. Okay. Give me a good, clean fight. 10 rounds WBO Asia Pacific Championship. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. So, Wayne, ready? Box. Welcome back to Macau, second of our bouts on TopRank.com. We're seeing it live around the world, and this is one we've been looking forward to. Super Bantamweight battle, Genesis Cervania is the defending WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantamweight champion against uh, Komasuke uh, Tomiyama, a long-rangey fighter in Tokyo, Japan, and he is down quickly. A sudden and dramatic turn that this fight takes immediately. Taking the mandatory eight count. Just about to tell you that Tomoyama has actually fought for the world championship a couple of years back against Nobuo Mushia and uh, had him down in the first round, but it is he who goes down in the first round of this bout. Servania, very quick start. Servania is... Nicknamed Bazooka comes into the ring with a record of 20 and 0. Only seven KOs. Not a big KO mark, but as you can see, he is not devoid of power. And he lands a good left hook there. And a very rocky start for Tomiyama. Sergania looking great here in the opening moments. And now Tomiyama comes back with his first combination of the fight. And here comes Sergania, and these two are throwing the leather early. Tomiyama 
Now he's trying to get himself into the fight now. A little bit different after that very rocky first minute. And he scores a knockdown with a left hand. Both fighters have tasted the canvas here in round one. Mandatory A count for the champion, Zervania. Here comes Tomoyama back. And now we are getting the fight we expected. Good jab by Tomoyama. Onosuke with a very good comeback. Tries that uppercut, and now here comes Cervania. Chases into the ropes and back out to ring center. Cervania trying to regain the momentum that he had built up in the first minute. Very aggressive, as you can see, he's up in his toes. That's his style. Oh, and a fine left-right combination by Tomoyama. Stops Cervania on his track. Cervania tries to answer back, and the champion is down again. Second time he is down. Three knockdowns in round one. And you just saw a red-hot first round. Love it, Rich. Rich Murata ringside in the Kotai Arena as you look at Tomiyama. Joined by Christina Poncher at the ringside. And I'll tell you, Christina, the fans enjoyed that first round. Absolutely. They did. We'll take a look at what happened in the first round. Cervania came out and landed that beautiful left hook. Thrown perfectly. That's it. Tomiyama down for the count of eight. It was a solid knockdown. You're looking at Cervania, who was in total control at that point. And <laughs> ended up going down twice himself. As we get ready to start round two, as we were bringing uh, Christina Poncher into our equation here, as Tomiyama starts out fast. These fans are into it, uh, Christina. You know, sometimes in the... In the Asia, some of the crowds get rather quiet and they sit back and they watch and they were into that first round. No knockdown. They definitely were. That was one of the things I noticed last time when we had a, a Filipino fighter or a Thai fighter. They were very much into the fight and this this fight here, right here, pitting a, a Japanese against a Filipino. They're very much interested in this fight and I, I think as the night grows and you see more action, uh, we'll hear this crowd really make some noise. Both of these fighters with a lot of movement. And my study of uh, Cervania, it seemed to me that he, he kind of wastes a lot of motion with his arms and his, his constant uh, up on his toes, jumping up and down. But so far he's come through it, uh, you know, you can't complain about a 20 and 0 record. No punch, ready, ready. But he does utilize a lot of energy and he, he certainly got caught with that second knockdown. The first was a flash knockdown. He was actually knocked down by a jab, but the second knockdown was solid. I did not see that coming after after how the fight started. No, it certainly didn't. It was a it was an amazing turnaround. It happened so fast, in fact, in the first round. I, I was just about to tell you about the uh, Nobuo Noshiro fight for Tomoyama when he fought for the WBA championship in uh, 09. He was stopped in eight rounds, but he had the champion in a bad way in the first round and knocked down. And this fight is full of action in round one. And uh, now into round two. Right. Step back, step back. Wild with that overhand right. Box. Some blood there uh, on Genesis Cervania, it looks like a little bit on his right eyebrow. I will keep an eye on that. As he comes forward, good aggression, missing that left hand, however. And he saw that he's setting down nicely on his punches. Cervania's record is knockout record. I, I started to mention to you is a bit misleading. He has more power, I think, than what the, what you would think with a guy with seven KOs of 20 fights it's perhaps only recently that he's really learning how to punch 
Tomiyama is going to be sent to a neutral corner. We're going to take a, a look at the cut. There you see it spurting at the right eye. Doctor says no problem. Carry on. And so they do. Tomiyama, long rangey fighter, goes right back to that jab. At those long arms, pushes it out to set up his straight right hand. Ten seconds. Stop with the bell. Ten seconds. As you might have seen in his walk into the arena and his entrance into the ring, he likes to play to the crowd. He's an entertainer. He walks back to his corner. Even got the tassels on the shoes there. Yeah. <laughs> みんな、みんな。え、みんな、マンデーか。早く上がる。あ、いいよ、ちょっと。相手が勝ってるぞ。相手が勝ってる。ああ。いいよ、最後。あ、ちょっと。こっちこの Round three Box. scheduled for 10. This is a WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantamweight Championship fight. Genesis Sarvania. They see screen right. Black Trunks with a white stripe. Against uh, Komosuke Tomoyama in Tokyo, Japan. He is in the black with the pink trim. We've seen a real good fight. Very competitive here. Up to pick who the winner of this one's going to be through two rounds. There were three knockdowns in the first round. Cervania scoring the first one and now coming in and landing a beautiful right hand. Sending back Tomoyama into the corner. Tomiyama then scored two knockdowns of his own in the first round. Thereby, I'm sure, edging uh, Cervania on the judges' scorecard. Cervania has been marked, cut on the right eye. Referee is Donrex Kapsadan. I tell you, these have been meaty like blows that both of these fighters have been landing in this fight. In his world championship effort, if you take a look at it, uh, the Tommy Yamas fought this very well early, but he really no. ran out of gas and he was no. stopped in the eighth the round. Ready, he ready. just had nothing Box. left in that round. So it will be interesting to watch to see how, if this fight goes a distance of ground, how he reacts in the later rounds. Cervania has had good stamina in his fights. He's been the 10 and 12 round distances on a number of occasions. Very nice combination by Tomiyama. And Cervania answers right back, but Tomiyama's was the more effective. Now Cervania with the left hook. Well, he never stopped bouncing. Rich, how long he can keep up that pace? I mean, like you said, he's constantly bouncing his arms, constant, constantly moving. It's difficult. It seems to me to be a lot of wasted energy, but uh, that, that's... Ooh. Oh, and right! And down goes Tomiyama for the second time. Fourth knockdown of the fight, and that was the worst one yet. He was really flattened, but he got up, and he seems okay. He seems to have his legs underneath him. And let's see what Cervania can do. Cervania. Tomiyama trouble. Backed into a corner. Bell sounds. End of the round. I don't know if he knows it's the end of the round. But he needed it. Very much so.
Miguel Diaz is going to work on that cut and Cervania as we take a look at the knockdown. A left hand and then the right hand over the outstretched left of Tomoyama. Well done. There's that right hand. I mean, a crushing right. We have had four knockdowns so far. This is the fourth of the fight. And uh, each man has visited the canvas twice. Ready, ready. Ready, ready. Second down. Ready, ready. Genesis, ready. Fox. Fans definitely getting their money here at the Kotai Arena. As we start round four of this uh, WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantamweight Championship. I do think, uh, if I'm looking at Tomiyama, that he looks uh, still a little bit rocky. That knockdown coming right near the end of the round. But he's trying to get his jab going and try to get a rhythm once again. He was successful in the first round of being able to get himself, gather himself, and get himself back into the fight by utilizing that jab. And, before the round was over, he had scored two knockdowns. Now he goes back to that formula here again. But Cervania is undeterred and comes forward with that strong left. I tell you, Genesis, when he throws that left hook, really has a good leverage on it. And now you see what I mean. You know, it's almost hard to believe, as you take a look at Cervania, that he has only scored seven KOs in his 20 victories. Some fighters learn to punch better, learn how to sit down on their punches, learn to get the proper leverage in their punches as they go along and develop. And now Tomiyama mounting his own comeback and getting a little bit encouraged. The crowd sensing that as well, urging him on. I get the feeling there's really no crowd favorite here in this fight. Again, people are rooting for both guys, pulling for both men. They've just been enjoying what has been an intense action between these two. Tomiyama does have the good jab, but he is susceptible to the uh, left hook from long range by Cervania. Nice combination. That's a good one, too, that Tomiyama has. Now he comes forward. He pushes Cervania up against the ropes, and here comes Genesis back. Cervania is known as a guy who throws a high volume of punches. And the one thing I like about him and in seeing him is that he is, has a wide variety of punches. He mixes up his attack. Good arsenal. Ready, ready. Break. Ready. But he has ready. been shown that he can be hit and hurt here tonight. And dropped. As he has been on two occasions. Break. Step back. Tell me if Yama decides it's a good time to hold on here. Let's just under half a minute to go in round number four. Rich, if you kind of look around, a good amount only in the second fight here. Well, that's what I like to see. This okay. the fight, the fans arriving very early and seeing these deep undercard fights, and they're uh, getting uh, rewarded with a tremendous fight. At the end of the round, it was Cervania scoring that left hand to the head that really had Tomiyama in a bad way. Look at him. He has that blank look on his face as he goes back to his corner. There's Miguel Diaz, the famed Miguel Diaz. One of the best in the business, longtime veteran, working on that cut in the corner. This fight very much up for grabs. As we begin round five, it is scheduled for 10. It's super Bantamweight battle. Each man has been down twice. Cervania suffering from what is a tough cut. Uh, they have had a tough time stemming the blood. And now, Cervania loading up. Ready. 
very enjoyable bout. So you come out here to Macau and you visit this magnificent hotel, the Venetian Hotel. And terrific arena here where Manny Pacquiao will fight November 23rd against Brandon Rios. You see this big future here in Macau. Hope you're enjoying it. And in the United States, of course, fans getting up early to see this one. And they too are being rewarded like the fans in the stands. Boyce and Brandon tried to load up with his right. Usually he starts off those uh, exchanges with his good left hook. That time tried to lead right. Tomiyama also has a very good right, but usually it follows his jab. Good counter left by Serfania. He really comes on the second half of these rounds. Serfania does. And I tell you, he's, he's throwing just punches that are like bricks. Absolutely. Digging that right hand underneath. Still up in his toes, though. And, you know, it's hard to generate power when you're, when you're doing that, all of that jumping. But he is certainly, in his last few fights, he has been generating power, and he's certainly generated it tonight against the quality opponent. Remember, as we mentioned, Tomiyama has fought for a world title. 23-5-1 in his career. title he fought for was at 115 so this is a much bigger weight for him here at Super Bantam. Step back. Step back. Let me have Box. This arena, by the way, the inside they have six videos and boards for the fans to, I mean, you're going to be close up to the action. Long range right hand, and again, right at the end of the round, Tomiyama finds himself in a little trouble. And he is beginning, as I see him walk back to his corner, to get a bit of a jaded look on his face, and I believe to be wearing down now. Sits down hard on the stool. Across the ring here, looking at Miguel Diaz going to work on both eyes. And there are no shortage of ring card girls or dancing girls in the uh, arena. And I even saw the Zhu Ming dancers yesterday in the lobby of the hotel going through a routine just out of nowhere they came into a big into the lobby music came on and the next thing you knew they were doing a dance they're in the business of entertaining here the venetia macau box here we go into round number six Servania seems to be gaining control i believe of the fight at this point scheduled for 10. And they set a torrid pace through the first five rounds. Rich Murata ringside at the Kotai Arena. Very happy to be joined by Christina Poncher here at our ringside table. I want to give a shout out to the great Colonel Bob Sheridan, who you see so many times, of course, internationally and on these top ranked broadcasts, international broadcasts throughout uh, the world and for so many years. And uh, the Colonel recently had heart surgery, but he's already bounced back. He is home. He is wisecracking and joking. I got an email from him today. That he was typical jokes <laughs> in there. And it was great to hear from him, and we wish him all the best. Glad he's recovering very well. He'll be back at the mic very soon. Nice combination by Tomiyama as he tries to regain some momentum. He even dug a right hand to the body. Tomiyama's been mostly a headhunter through the fight. Rich, I've noticed Tomiyama shaking his right hand a lot, just throwing that jab out with the left, but not really throwing the right with much force. I don't know if it's causing him a little bit of trouble, but he's been kind of shaking it, letting it loose, and as you can see, just not really throwing that right Maybe hand. Maybe that's when he, when he threw it hard, he threw it to the body. 
of Cervania. Cervania really does a, has a nice there once again. He, he, a good pick up there. Christina, he was waving that right arm. Let's see if he shows it anymore to the head. He threw that, that one hard right that he's thrown in this round was to the body of Cervania. A one-armed fighter against the Cervania is going to be in some real trouble. Now Tomiyama comes over the top, and I see a smear of blood on the Tomiyama's face as well. I think coming from the nose as he tries to flash out his jab. And as you can see, that they're doing better with the cut now on Cervania. It's not bleeding as much as it was. Midway through the round with a hard right. Tomiyama in some trouble. Staggers back a second. Started to teeter a little bit. Flances over at his corner. Right back to the jab goes Tomiyama. We've got another terrific bout coming up after this one. You don't want to go anywhere. Rex so against the Rusali Samoa. Little counter right by Tomiyama, at least showing it there as we come to the end of the round. Konosuke looking a little worried in his corner, and there's the reason why. He's getting nailed with those right hands. His eyes were wide open, though, and they seemed clear in the corner, but as you can see, right at this point, he was in a little bit of trouble. Both fighters have been bloodied. Not a very active round for Tomiyama that past round. No, he, was, he seemed Box. to be fighting actually through a fog a little bit in that last minute. Definitely. But as they start the round, he comes right out jabbing. And I think that's a good idea for him. He, need, he needs to establish himself, get his legs back underneath him, and try to get his rhythm once again. And the best time to do that and the best way to do that is to go right back to fundamentals. And for Tomiyama, that means going back to his jab and trying to set things up once again. Genesis Cervania, you may have doubted, can bounce for 12 rounds or 10 rounds. Is still bouncing here in round number seven. Been a good mix of styles between these two. It's been high action and hot action between them. Four knockouts, we mentioned earlier. The two fighters were both down in the first round. Tomiyama scored two knockdowns. Cervania scored two knockdowns. Cervania really digging that left. I think if he was not up on his uh, toes so much, he really would generate a little more power than, than he has uh, throughout his career. But he's shown uh, he, that he does have uh, uh, power. He's not devoid of power despite that low knockout ratio. Of course, tonight in the main event, and a very good uh, card here that also has uh, heavyweights. Uh, Andy Ruiz against Joe Hanks on it. Later on, uh, Zhou Ximing, the Chinese uh, gold medal winner, two-time gold medal winner, actually. will be making his second professional start. That fight will be aired. For those of you in America, you can watch that fight tonight on HBO2. Nice to see the broadcast crew of Larry Merchant, Tim Ryan, George Foreman yesterday. George holding court at the press conference uh, for Pacquiao and Rios today. It was very funny, as usual. Tomiyama not having a bad round here. It's, it actually, he's having a pretty good bounce back round. 
Uh, he seems to have found a little bit of a rhythm. Now Cervania himself trying to utilize the jab. I would guess that Cervania is ahead on points at this juncture, but Tomiyama showing he can still summon up some strength and energy, but there's that good left hook. I love the left hook that Cervania throws. He can really dig it to the body, too. Body or hand. Nice jab work, though, by Tomiyama. Comes up with an uppercut there. Time! And the round seven. Oh, what an enervating fight. They're late getting the school into the ring for Tomiyama. Now they do. We take a look at the action. Uh, Cervania from long range doing real work there. Tomiyama taking a moment off, but still able to counter with the left hand. Tomiyama looking a little discouraged in the corner. Scheduled for 10, WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantamweight title on the line. Now there is one that you may not have heard of in the United States, for those of you watching in the U.S., but it means a lot here. Because we are very much in Asia. We have a Japanese fighter against a Philippine fighter here. We'll have a Thai fighter against the Chinese fighter in our next fight. Good right hand by Tomiyama. Well, I tell you, I thought at the end of round six that Tomiyama had just about had the course. Anthony had a nice bounce back round on that seventh, utilizing the jab, getting some rhythm going. It would appear to me that the harder puncher at this point is Cervania. <laughs> Tomiyama's having good uh, fortune with his boxing ability. Best for him to keep the fight at long range. And Cervania gets within punching range. It's good for him with that left hook. Left hook to the bodies especially. <laughs> Tomiyama not Ready. playing to the crowd now. Box. Cervania turned pro in 2009. He had seven fights in his first year. Last year went through three fights. This is his second fight of this year. His first one was against Anke Angoda. So he's fought good competition himself. We mentioned Tomiyama had fought uh, for a world title, but uh, Cervania, his last fight against uh, Anke Ancoda, and he stopped him in seven rounds, and Ancoda is a guy who we've seen in the ring for the distance with Jorge Arce. We've seen him fight to Fernando Montiel, so he's been in there with good, very good fighters recently, really picking up his level of competition. And this is another tough opponent here for him. Step back. Gonna skate, gonna skate. Ready, ready. I'm not exactly sure what Tomiyama was looking at, except maybe one of the vid mini video boards, because he was staring up into the skies. Dropping his arms there, and again, appearing a little bit tired as Tomiyama. And uh, you can certainly understand why. This fight was fought at a ridiculously high energy uh, pace in the first to four rounds. Nice combination and a follow-up right by Cervania. And another right that was partially blocked by the shoulder of Tomiyama. Tomiyama answers back with a right of his own. And here they go again as the bell sounds to end round eight. The end of these rounds, Rich. Yes, the last, the last 15 seconds of almost every round are scorchers. You had 
earlier mentioned uh, the fighters from different countries and looking up the voucher here seems to be about eight different countries represented on tonight's card in the entirety P pretty unique very unusual I, I think really taking a look at this card to have that many fighters from different countries I don't think I've ever seen a professional card and I've been calling a lot of fights for a lot of years that had this kind of uh, international flavor in terms of having so many countries you'd have to go to something like the olympic games to go to a, to a fight card and see that many different countries represented i was counting and i'm like here we go japan thailand china mexico usa russia philippines thailand i mean japan it's like the world games here <laughs> yes it is and there is a fighter in fact Evgeny uh, Gradovich, who fights uh, later step on back, back. on the HBO2 Let's card that you, you'll be able to see later on tonight, no. who is known as the Box. Mexican Russian. So, right. <laughs> so if that counts as another one, <laughs> we'll make it nine. For two. <laughs> That's his nickname. He fights out of the Robert Garcia stable. Fight a personality, huh? We had some fun in the fighter meetings with him. Yeah, he's a very clever kid. We are round, in round nine. I think probably both fighters are happy this one wasn't scheduled for 12. Because they have given it their all. Six minutes remaining. I believe Servan is ahead on the, on the cards, I would think, to this point. But Tomiyama's been very much in this fight. He has great moments, it seems, every round. For two knockdowns of Cervania in the first round. Did you think this was going the distance after how it started? Rich? It certainly did not. <laughs> and it may still not. It may still not. <laughs> still have time. Tomoyama having success with the right hand. First to the head, then to the body. And shoves an elbow into the face. And he wants to get right at his foe. And he's coming right, right at Cervania. And as you can see, Tomoyama's encouraged. By the success he's had. Go there, go there. Headbutt. Headbutt. Another cut for Savanya. And it's immediately called by referee uh, Danrex uh, Tapsadan as a headbutt. This fight may be over. It is. This fight is over. Now, Tomiyama thinks he has won. And I do not believe that he has won. The referee, Tomiyama, thinks that he has scored a TKO victory. That is not the case. That is not the case. They are calling a headbutt. Do not be misled by that celebration of Tomiyama. There you see the terrible cut that was just opened. And they're calling it a headbutt, which means they are going to score the fight and score that last round. The referee is collecting the scorecards. Fight was stopped by the doctor in the corner. And that was an immediate decision, by the way, to stop the fight at that point. There was no hesitation on the part of the doctor informing the referee this has to stop right here. Tomoyama, <laughs> Tomoyama is going up to each uh, of the ring card girls and hugging each one of them. Now, unless they have awarded the fight to Tomoyama, which I don't think they have, because the referee told the judges score the round. of the fight right now. You 
comes in and the referee looks at the cut, says time, waves Tomiyama to a neutral corner, and there you see him saying headbutt. Now watch this. Boy, the, the doctor said no right there. They have to be going to the scorecards now, don't they? That would be my interpretation, that the fight would have to be scored. Referee told the judges at the end of the round, score the round. I heard him clearly say, score the round. See Lupe has to say. So Lupe Contreras will give us the official verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. After an accidental clash of heads, referee Tapdasan stops the bow with an official time of 1 minute 42 seconds of the ninth round. And in accordance with the rules of the WBO, we go to the scorecards to determine a winner. Damas y caballeros, atención por favor. El referee Tapdasan para la contienda por causa de un choque de cabezas accidental. Y de acuerdo con las reglas de la OMB, consultamos a la tarjeta oficial para determinar un vencedor. The scorecard reads as follows. Judge Shimiyama scores the bow 87 to 82 in favor of Cervania. Judge Shimiyama scores the bow 87 a 82 a favor de Cervania. El juez Tawiku. 85 a 84 a favor de Tommy Yama. Judge Tawi Doon scores about 85 to 84 in favor of Tommy Yama. And Judge Lagumbay scores it 86 to 83. El juez Lagumbay anotó 86 a 83 a favor del ganador por decisión dividida técnica. In favor of the winner. By way of technical split decision. And still, WBO Asia Pacific champion, Yaun, campeón peso super gallo, Asia Pacifico de la OMB, Genesis. Well, there it is, just a tremendous battle between these two. Hope you fans enjoyed it. Everybody here did. There you see the first knockdown, a terrific left hook scored by Cervania in the first round. Tomoyama came back, scored a knockdown, actually with a left jab moments later. Then Tomoyama really came on and scored a very legitimate knockdown there with the overhand right. He was cut in the second round. Referee looked at it, said it's okay, and then he scored a fantastic knockdown in round number three that you can see Tomoyama needed some time to recover from. And from then on, it was just hammer and tong back and forth, the two of them, each at moments having moments of control. And in round number eight, It was Tomoyama coming on, backing Cervania up. Then, in the ninth of the cut from the headbutt, referee and the doctor conferred. It was immediately stopped at that point. They went to the scorecards, split decision. Genesis Cervania, winner and still champion on a technical split decision. Konosuke. In the red corner, in the esquina roja, vestido de color blanco con vivos negros, he steps in wearing white with black trim. His official weight, 121.6 pounds, su peso oficial, 121.6 libras. A nivel profesional, se mantiene invicto con 21 victorias. Ocho de sus victorias por la vía del knockout. He steps in undefeated in 21 professional bouts. Eight of those victories coming by way of knockout. 
el actual campeón peso super gallo Asia Pacífico de la OMB. He is the defending WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantamweight Champ. Welcome back to Macau, second of our bouts on toprank.com. We're seeing it live around the world, and this is one we've been looking forward to. Super Bantamweight battle, Genesis Cervania is the defending WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantamweight champion against uh, Komasuke uh, Tomoyama, a long-rangey fighter in Tokyo, Japan, and he is down quickly. A sudden and dramatic turn that this fight takes immediately. Taking the mandatory eight count. Just about to tell you that Tomoyama has actually fought for the world championship a couple of years back against Nobuo Mushia and uh, had him down in the first round, but it is he who goes down in the first round of this battle. From Bacolod City, the Philippines, Genesis C. Genesis, come on. Okay. Give me a good clean fight. Ten rounds, WBO Asia Pacific Championship. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the action here at Cold Thai Arena. Once again, proudly being brought to you by Bob Aram's Top Rank Incorporated. This bout in association with Allah Boxing Promotions. Tecate con carácter anta Foreman Boys Promotions and our host, the Venetian Macau. This bout set for a limit of 10 rounds for the WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantamweight Championship. Damas caballeros, este duelo pactado un límite de 10 vueltas por el título peso Super Gallo Asia Pacífico de la OMB. Supervisor, Supervisor, Leon Panoncillo. The judges are, los jueces son, Sawa Eng Tawikun, Salvin Lagumbay, and Takeshi Shimakawa, the referee, Danrex Tapdasan. Introducing the blue corner. He steps in wearing black with pink trim, presentando la esquina azul, vestido de negro con vivos color rosa. Detuvo la báscula a un peso oficial de 122 libras. He tipped the scales at an official 122 pounds. As a professional, he maintains a record consisting of 23 victories against five losses, one draw, and eight of those victories coming by way of knockout. A nivel profesional, mantiene un record de 23 victorias, con cinco derrotas, un empate, y ocho de sus victorias por la vía del cloroformo. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. 